This is a video reviewer for the PLM Admission Test, or PLMAT. This is PLMAT Reviewer Number 1, featuring questions on English proficiency. There are 16 questions featured in this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous PLMATs. Before you proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click the bell icon to make sure you are notified of all new reviewers and other important updates. Let's begin. Grammar and Sentence Construction Question number one. Identify the error in the sentence. Each of the students were given a task to complete. A. Each. B. Were. C. Students. D. No error. The correct answer is B. The error in the sentence is the plural verb were. Each is singular, so the correct verb is was. The correct sentence should read as. Each of the students was given a task to complete. Question number two. Choose the correct sentence. A. She don't like to eat vegetables. B. She doesn't like to eat vegetables. C. She didn't likes to eat vegetables. D. She don't likes to eat vegetables. The correct answer is B. She doesn't like to eat vegetables. Correct verb agreement. The subject of the sentence is she, which is third person singular. In standard English grammar, when forming the present tense negative, the auxiliary verb does is used for third person singular subjects. The contraction doesn't is a combination of does not. Negative sentences in the present tense for third person singular should follow this structure. Subject plus does not or doesn't, plus base verb. Therefore, the correct sentence is, she doesn't like to eat vegetables. Why the other options are incorrect. A. She don't like to eat vegetables is incorrect because don't is a contraction of do not, which is used for plural subjects or first or second person singular subjects, such as, I don't, you don't, they don't. It is incorrect for she, a third person singular subject. C. She didn't likes to eat vegetables is incorrect since this mixes past tense, that is, didn't or did not, with a grammatically incorrect form of the verb, that is, likes instead of the base form like. The correct form would be, didn't like, if the context were past tense. D. She don't likes to eat vegetables is also incorrect because it combines two errors. Improper use of don't for third person singular and the incorrect addition of likes instead of the base verb like. Question number three. Which word best completes the sentence? The meeting has been postponed, blank, further notice. A. For. B. Until. C. Since. D. On. The correct answer is B. The word that best completes the sentence is until. Until is appropriate because it indicates that the postponement will last up to the point when further notice is given. This construction conveys a sense of a temporary delay with an unspecified end, which aligns with the context of the sentence. Why the other options are incorrect. While, for, can express duration, it does not fit here because it implies a specific period, such as, for two weeks, which, further notice, does not provide. Since denotes a starting point in time, such as since yesterday, and does not work with further notice, which refers to an undefined future time. On is used to indicate a specific date or day, such as on Monday. It is not suitable for the context, which does not specify a precise time. By the way, the phrase until further notice is common in formal communication to indicate an indefinite postponement, typically in announcements or official statements. Question number four. Identify the correct verb form. The children, blank, playing in the garden when it started raining. A. Was. B. Are. C. Were. D. Is. 
The correct verb form is were, so the correct answer is C. The sentence should read, the children were playing in the garden when it started raining. The sentence is in the past continuous tense, which describes an action that was ongoing in the past. The structure for past continuous is subject plus were or was for singular subjects plus present participle verb plus ing. In this case, the subject children is plural, so the correct form of the verb is were, which is used for plural subjects in past continuous tense. Why the other options are incorrect. Was is the singular form of the past continuous, and it would be used with singular subjects. Example, the child was playing, which does not fit here because children is plural. R is the present tense form of the verb and does not match the past context of the sentence, which refers to an action that occurred in the past. Is is also in the present tense and would similarly be incorrect because the sentence refers to an action in the past. Question number five. Which sentence is grammatically correct? A. I am knowing the answer to this question. B. I knows the answer to this question. C. I know the answer to this question. D. I am known the answer to this question. The correct answer is C. The verb, know, is used in the present tense to describe a state of knowledge or understanding, which is the correct form when making a simple statement about something you currently know. Know is an irregular verb, and in the present tense, it is simply, know, for the subject, I. Why the other options are incorrect. I am knowing the answer to this question. The verb, know, is a state of verb, meaning it describes a state rather than an action. State of verbs are generally not used in the continuous or progressive tense, so I am knowing is incorrect. I knows the answer to this question. The subject, I, requires the base form of the verb, no, not knows. Knows is used with third-person singular subjects, such as in, she knows. I am known the answer to this question. This is grammatically incorrect because am known suggests passive voice, which doesn't fit in this context. The correct active construction is I know. State of verbs like know, believe, like, and understand are typically not used in the continuous tense because they refer to states of being or conditions rather than actions in progress. Vocabulary Question number six. What is the meaning of the word obsolete? A. Important. B. New. C. Outdated. D. Complicated. The correct answer is C. The word obsolete means something that is outdated or no longer in use because it has been replaced by something newer, better, or more efficient. It refers to things that are no longer relevant, functional, or commonly used due to the passage of time or advancements in a particular field. Certain words, practices, and devices can become obsolete over time. For example, old technology, such as floppy disks or VHS tapes, are considered obsolete because more advanced technologies, like USB drives and streaming services, have replaced them. Why the other options are incorrect a. Important is incorrect because obsolete refers to something being outdated, not necessarily important or significant. b. New is likewise incorrect since new is the opposite of obsolete, as something new is modern and currently in use. d. Complicated is also incorrect because while something outdated could potentially be more complicated, complicated does not directly relate to the meaning of obsolete. <laughs> Question number seven. Choose the best synonym for elaborate. A. Simple. B. Complicated. C. Fast. D. Unclear. The correct answer is B. Complicated. Elaborate refers to the idea of making something more complex or detailed, often with multiple parts or layers. This makes complicated the most fitting synonym, as both words imply something that involves complexity or thoroughness. Why the other options are incorrect. A. Simple is incorrect because elaborate is the opposite of simple, as it refers to something more complex and detailed. C. 
fast, is incorrect because elaborate has no relation to speed. It is about depth and complexity, not how quickly something is done. D. Unclear is also incorrect because an elaborate explanation or description is usually meant to be clear, with a great deal of detail provided. Therefore, unclear would be the opposite of the intended meaning. Question number 8. Choose the correct antonym for fragile. A. Sturdy. B. Weak. C. Delicate. D. Brittle. The correct answer is A. Sturdy. Fragile means easily broken, damaged, or delicate. It refers to something that requires care to avoid harm, often associated with physical objects, emotions, or states of being. Sturdy means strong, robust, and well-built. It is the direct opposite of fragile because it implies durability and resistance to damage or breaking. For example, a fragile vase contrasts sharply with a sturdy table. Why the other options are incorrect. B. Weak is incorrect because while it might seem like a related term, it does not directly oppose fragile. Weak refers to a lack of strength or power rather than a susceptibility to breakage. For instance, fragile applies to a delicate glass but not necessarily to a weak argument. C. Delicate is actually a synonym for fragile. Both terms imply fineness or a need for careful handling. And D. Brittle also aligns with fragile as it describes something hard but prone to breaking or shattering easily. The antonym of a word should represent the direct opposite of its primary meaning. Since sturdy suggests strength and resilience, it is the correct antonym for fragile. Question number 9. Choose the word that best fits the sentence. The scientist presented a blank explanation for the phenomenon. A. Vague. B. Coherent. C. Invalid. D. Useless. The correct answer is B. Coherent. The given sentence implies that the explanation provided by the scientist needs to be logical and easy to follow, as scientific explanations are expected to be structured and understandable. Coherent means logical, well-organized, and consistent. A coherent explanation is one that connects ideas clearly and makes sense, which is critical for explaining a phenomenon scientifically. For example, a coherent explanation would allow others to understand the phenomenon without confusion. Why the other options are incorrect. A. Vague is not the correct answer as it means unclear or lacking specific details. A vague explanation would contradict the qualities expected of a scientist's presentation, making it unsuitable in this context. C. Invalid is incorrect as well as it refers to something not valid or logically sound, which again contradicts the nature of an explanation meant to describe a scientific phenomenon. D. Useless is incorrect as it implies that the explanation has no value or purpose, which is unlikely to describe a scientist's work intended to clarify a phenomenon. The word coherent fits best because it aligns with the expectation that scientific explanations should be logical and well-structured, ensuring they effectively communicate the phenomenon being studied. Question number 10. What is the meaning of the word redundant? A. Necessary. B. Excessive. C. Essential. D. Required. The correct answer is B. Excessive. The word redundant refers to something that is unnecessary or excessive, particularly when it exceeds what is needed. It often carries the connotation of duplication or superfluousness, meaning something that could be removed without affecting the intended outcome. Excessive matches the meaning of redundant because both imply something beyond what is necessary or required. For example, a sentence with repetitive phrases is redundant because it includes words that add no new information. In the workplace, redundant roles refer to positions that are no longer essential due to overlap or changes in organizational needs. Why the other choices are incorrect. A. Necessary and C. Essential are both incorrect as they imply the opposite of redundant. These words refer to things that are crucial or required. 
D. Required is also contradictory because it denotes something indispensable, which redundancy does not suggest. In summary, the correct answer is B. Excessive, as it aligns with the idea of surplus or unnecessary repetition. Sentence completion. Question number 11. Which word best completes the sentence? If you want to pass the exam, you, blank, study harder. A. Should. B. Might. C. Can. D. May. The correct answer is A. Should. The sentence, if you want to pass the exam, you, blank, study harder, is completed correctly with should, as it conveys a strong suggestion or recommendation. Should indicates a recommended action that is important but not absolutely mandatory. In the context of the sentence, it suggests that studying harder is necessary to achieve the desired outcome, that is, passing the exam. It also strikes the right balance of urgency and advice, making it the best fit for the sentence. Why the other options are incorrect. B. Might implies a possibility or chance, but it lacks the sense of recommendation. Saying you might study harder does not suggest that studying is an essential action to pass the exam. Therefore, it is incorrect. C. Can refers to the ability to do something. You can study harder would mean that studying harder is possible, but it doesn't advise or encourage the action. Therefore, it is likewise incorrect. D. May indicates permission or a possibility. You may study harder would suggest that studying harder is allowed but not necessarily recommended or needed. It is also incorrect. The use of should is aligned with advising the listener about what they are recommended to do to achieve a particular goal. It highlights the importance of action without enforcing obligation, which fits well in the given sentence. Question number 12. Which word best completes the sentence? He was, blank, disappointed when his team lost the championship. A. Completely. B. Slightly. C. Barely. D. Extremely. The correct answer, D. Extremely, best completes the sentence, he was, blank, disappointed when his team lost the championship. The word, extremely, conveys a high degree of intensity and fits the emotional weight of the scenario described. Losing a championship is typically a significant and impactful event and, extremely, accurately reflects the strong disappointment one would likely feel in such a situation. Why the other options are incorrect. A. Completely, is incorrect since while this word suggests thorough or total disappointment, it may not convey the depth or emotional intensity as effectively as extremely. Completely is more suitable for describing a situation with finality, such as being completely destroyed. B. Slightly, is also incorrect because it indicates minimal disappointment, which contradicts the context of a major loss like a championship. C. Barely suggests almost no disappointment, which is inappropriate given the significance of the event. Using extremely conveys that the person experienced a strong and intense level of disappointment, aligning well with the scenario of a significant loss in a competitive setting. This choice accurately reflects the magnitude of the situation and the emotional reaction it would typically evoke. Question number 13. Which word best completes the sentence? The manager made a blank decision to promote her. A. Wise. B. Random. C. Unclear. D. Hasty. The correct answer, wise, best completes the sentence. The manager made a blank decision to promote her. The word, wise, implies a decision that is thoughtful, considered, and beneficial. In professional contexts, promotions are typically associated with careful assessment and evaluation of a candidate's qualifications, making wise the most suitable choice for this scenario. Why the other options are incorrect. B. Random suggests the decision was made without reason or consideration, which contrasts with the typically deliberate nature of professional promotions. 
C. Unclear refers to a lack of clarity or understanding, which does not describe the decision-making process in this context. D. Hasty implies the decision was rushed or made without proper thought, which could carry a negative connotation unsuitable for describing a well-considered promotion. Although a hasty promotion is a possibility and that it actually happens in the real world, it is generally recommended to avoid negative connotations when answering similar questions in exams, unless it is clearly the intent or context of the given question. By using wise, the sentence aligns with the positive connotation of a deliberate and beneficial managerial choice. Reading Comprehension in your PL mat, you will be instructed to read a passage and answer the questions that follow. For the purposes of this reviewer, we will be reading the passage for you. We encourage you to read along. Technology has revolutionized the way we communicate, making it faster and more efficient. Emails, instant messaging, and video calls have largely replaced traditional letters and face-to-face -face meetings. However, the over-reliance on technology has also led to a decline in personal interactions and has raised concerns about privacy. Question number 14. According to the passage, what has replaced traditional letters and face-to-face -face meetings? A. Social media and books. B. Emails and video calls. C. Telephones and handwritten notes. D. Privacy concerns. The correct answer, B, emails and video calls, is supported directly by the passage, which states, Emails, instant messaging, and video calls have largely replaced traditional letters and face-to-face -face meetings. The question asks what has replaced traditional communication methods like letters and face-to-face -face meetings. The passage explicitly names emails, instant messaging, and video calls as the modern substitutes. Among the given options, emails and video calls is the most accurate and aligns precisely with the information provided. Why the other options are incorrect A. Social media and books is incorrect since while social media may also play a role in modern communication, the passage does not mention books or social media as replacements for traditional communication. C. Telephones and handwritten notes is inconsistent with the passage. Telephones and handwritten notes are closer to traditional communication methods rather than modern replacements. D. Privacy concerns are mentioned in the passage but not as a replacement for traditional communication. The correct choice reflects the shift toward digital and efficient communication methods as described in the text. Question number 15. What concern is mentioned in the passage about over-reliance on technology? A. Slower communication. B. Decline in privacy and personal interactions. C. Increase in handwritten letters. D. Reduction in efficiency. The correct answer, B. Decline in privacy and personal interactions, is directly supported by the passage, which states, the over-reliance on technology has also led to a decline in personal interactions and has raised concerns about privacy. The passage identifies two main concerns about the over-reliance on technology. 1. Decline in personal interactions. Technology, while making communication faster and more efficient, reduces the frequency and quality of face-to-face -face communication, potentially weakening human connections. And 2. Concerns about privacy. Increased use of digital communication raises risks related to data security and privacy breaches. Why the other options are incorrect. A. Slower communication is incorrect because the passage emphasizes that technology makes communication faster, not slower. C. Increase in handwritten letters is also incorrect. Handwritten letters are mentioned as part of traditional communication methods that have been replaced, not as something increasing. D. Reduction in efficiency is incorrect too since efficiency is highlighted as a benefit of technology, not a drawback. Thus, option B captures the concerns about technology raised in the passage. Question number 16. Which word from the passage best matches the meaning of change completely? A. Raised. B. Decline. 
C. Revolutionized. D. Replaced. The correct answer is C. Revolutionized. Revolutionized best matches the meaning of change completely as used in the given passage. Revolutionized signifies a complete and transformative change, which aligns with the description in the passage of how technology has dramatically altered communication methods. The passage suggests that the shift from traditional methods like letters to modern tools such as emails and video calls represents a fundamental change in communication. Why the other options are incorrect A. Raised is incorrect because it means lifted or increased but does not imply a complete change. B. Decline is likewise incorrect since it refers to a decrease, not a transformation. D. Replaced is also incorrect since while it implies substitution, it lacks the nuance of a significant or groundbreaking change, which revolutionized conveys. Thus, revolutionized aptly captures the meaning of change completely in the context of the passage. <laughs> You have just watched PL Matt Reviewer number one, featuring questions on English proficiency. Check out more related review videos and playlists on our channel. If you find this useful, please like and share. Leave a comment to share your thoughts or questions regarding this reviewer or any particular part of it. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to Review Central and click the bell button to get notified of all future reviewers and updates. Like and follow us on your favorite social media platforms. Good luck to your forthcoming PLM admission test and we look forward to your fruitful and fun time as a PL Meyer and a Hall Reborn.